Hello, in this video, I would like to briefly demonstrate how to use the integrated video and audio equipment in Lecture Hall 6 in Building 44 of the Otto von Guericke University for lecture recordings or for hybrid teaching formats. For this, I've of course brought my laptop and at the moment I'm looking into the integrated camera and I'm also using the integrated microphone. And I will switch over to the rear camera for a second so that you can see the lecture hall. And the camera that we will now be using is the one in the center mounted at the ceiling. It's a Logitech Rally camera. And so I will switch over to this camera and zoom. And then you see that it needs some time, let's say, to wake up and to go to its initial settings. And it's showing a total view of the lecture hall. And then with some remote control, you can somehow pen and tilt and zoom it. And there's also a preset. Um, this is this remote control and there's a preset one that shows the podium here, the stage where the lecturer usually is. And there's a second preset um, which can be used to show the blackboard. And now I will also switch over to the microphone, the corresponding one. Uh, the lecture hall microphone and this sounds like this. And so with this, of course, you could do some classical uh, chatting talk here, write something on the blackboard and do some classical lecture like this. And from my point of view, the quality, um, at least the picture quality, the video quality is quite decent. Um, I will go back to the preset one. What you can do, of course, if you don't like writing on the blackboard and don't like cleaning the blackboard, you can, of course, also um, do some screen sharing. As an example, I will show the website of the university and still you should be able to see my camera window. I'm quite small now. And um, what you could also do to write something by hand is use a drawing tablet. I will show it in a second and then write something on the screen using this commenting or annotating function in Zoom. And with this, um, whatever you write then on your screen is also visible in the room and is, of course, also nicely visible for remote attendees. And you can save it, you can um, open it up next time and work with this um, and so on. So this is such a drawing tablet, Vacom Intuos. Uh, it's connected by Bluetooth to my computer and very handy. And if I go back to this full view, um, so with, with this, of course, you can show something in the room. So Zoom is to remote attendees and to the people in the room. You can do it via screen share. The nice thing about this stage of thought is that it's a single space for a second presentation. You can uh, connect the second laptop here or so, lock this one into the very same Zoom meeting. So you have a second screen here just to show the video tiles, the camera tiles of your remote attendees. Um, there's also a second microphone like this one. So if you um, um, have some discussion here in the room, you can hint a second microphone to someone who is asking a question in the room so that it is also audible for the remote attendees. And of course, if the, if the, if the Zoom is, if the remote attendees um, ask something, it will be also audible in the room via the usual um, speakers in here. So the last thing that I would like to do is I would like to use and test a different microphone. At the moment, as I said, I'm using the integrated microphone here. I've brought a second one. And maybe I can switch over to my front camera just for a second. So this is the integrated microphone. And it's quite difficult to see. I've connected the second one. It's a um, Hollyman Lab 150. And I will switch over to this. So this sounds like this. Um, I think, as I have checked the recordings before, I think this sounds a little better. Um, and let me switch back to the Hollyland, uh, to the Logitech camera once again. 
So this is definitely some disadvantage of this camera that every time you switch over to this camera that it needs to wake up and needs to reset once again. Uh, but overall, I would say it's still a quite good and very easy to use setup um, to do lecture recordings or hybrid teaching formats. The only things that you need to connect to your laptop is you need the, to connect this HDMI cable and via this cable, the um, screen and the audio of the computer goes to the projector and goes to the speakers in the room. And the second cable that you need to connect is this USB cable. And via this USB cable, you get the video from the camera and the audio of this microphone into your computer and into the recording or um, into a video conference meeting. Must not necessarily be Zoom, can also be WebEx or Big Blue Button or whatnot. So overall, a very nice and very easy to use setup for lecture recordings or for hybrid teaching formats.